Well, the Edge team have hopped a can in the sky and we're touching down in Atlantis Cape Town today at the Hisense factory to see exactly how everyday electronics are made. I'm with Ryan Curling, who is the brand manager for Hisense South Africa. What is the scope of products manufactured worldwide for Hisense? Hisense focuses mainly on the electronic segment, so manufacturing of LED flat screen TVs, your white goods uh, being fridges and uh, washing machines, and then moving into mobile communication devices uh, being cell phones and tablets. So Ryan, you found a home in Cape Town, Atlantis for Hisense. Why Cape Town? I think Cape Town um, was a central decision in terms of getting into Africa and investing into Africa for, for Hisense. 250 million rand was invested into this plant um, and then obviously offering the locals some employment. Um, roughly 700 staff are employed in the factory at the moment and plans for expansion into the future. Speaking of which, what kind of growth can we expect to see from Hisense worldwide and particularly South Africa and Africa? I think our big focus for the year is very much on the mobile electronics side. Um, we've just launched our 86 smartphone, Infinity 86 smartphone, as well as our brand new tablet, the Sierra 8 Pro. So that is a big focus for Hisense going into 2015, as well as exporting into Africa. Um, one of our big targets is to export into Africa. I'm with Alton Janssen, who's a production supervisor at the Hisense factory. These little capacitators and? Resistors. Resistors. I mean, these are used for cell phones, for TVs. Everything. Wow. Um, those little things are the brains, if I can put it like that, um, and the, the motherboard, as we call it. Um, those things are quite very important, small, but the information on those things are quite severe, and we need to have those ones on the piece of board to make sure that everything is working accordingly. Now, Hisense has a percentage of 98% locally employed staff, but just walking around the factory, there are quite a lot of girls ruling the world here. <laughs> Why? Um, the girls are quite uh, particular to detail. I have to say I agree. <laughs> um, the men on the, on the back, as you can see, it, are only mainly there for the heavy stuff, where the, actually the assembly of the television sets. Yes. So ladies for detail, gents for muscle. For muscle, yes, absolutely. What makes you excited to come to work every single day? This must be a highly pressurized job. And also, you have to wear really thick glasses. <laughs> Um, being in the industry for more than 15, 15 years, um, the glasses, yes, needs to come with it um, because I've been looking at those small things all my life and getting up in the morning, realizing that you need to come to iSense on a daily basis, fixing and doing these TVs are quite exciting, knowing that there is always new challenges. Um, new models and new technology that's coming onto the market on a, well, I can say on a daily basis. So being part of that, of all the new and exciting stuff that's happening, is quite good. It's quite good. Now I've spotted one of my personal favorite products, and I'm sure you know it's the 3D TV. But what's one of your personal favorites that you assemble? One of our best sellers is the 50 and the 55 inch. It's not too big. Um, it's not too small, it's just perfect for all those kind of movies to cuddle up and all those kind of things. So oh, it's, it's cute! Quite... <gasps> Under all this production, there's such a softie underneath. <laughs> oh, I want. <laughs> Grant, this is such a treat that you've actually allowed consumers and guests into a factory space and your showroom. Uh, how many units get pushed out on an annual basis? Roughly about 400,000 TVs and refrigerators per annum. You have a very high percentage of Atlantis employees at the moment. What does it actually mean to you? Well, we've actually we've, we've done it that way to empower the local community. And we've actually put a head engineer in each department to actually qualify these staff and, and deliver the necessary skills for them to perform well at the job that they do. Grant, what do you think gives Hisense the competitive edge right now? Well, definitely the fact that we're offering high quality products at a much more affordable price. Uh, the fact that we are on the forefront of innovation and, and making this technology available to any South African, uh, that really puts us a step ahead above our competition. We've seen how the TVs are assembled and how it comes together, but this is the refrigerator plant, a whole different ball game. 
but somehow they're also starting to link and form a little communication stream. Um, Technology-wise, things are developing rapidly. Um, where we sort of introduced last year a refrigerator that's been communicating with uh, one of our tablets. You buy your groceries on a monthly basis. You tap in on the tab what you have been buying that you've been putting on the inside of the refrigerator. And with that, it builds up a memory as to say what's being bought the most on a monthly basis. With that, it gives you a sort of a self life of what's left on inside of the fridge. And with that, it can give you a monthly grocery shopping. You just tap on it via the internet, um, link to pick and pay online shopping, forward your, your grocery list, and from there, 10 minutes later, it's been delivered to your door. That's now, how advanced things are That is a high sense of convenience if you see what I did there. Tell me what else we can expect to see in terms of refrigerator technology, air cons. What are some of the trends and what are the things that consumers want and expect from technology these days? Okay, the thing is, the consumers are, um, these days want things, want life easier, okay? And that's the, the motto of where Hisense is going. Just be more user friendly. That's what we believe. Little machine mints its way up and down the factory floor like nobody's business, and it's your very own version of Wally. But what is its function? Well, we don't have a name for this machine as yet. Um, it's been implemented only this morning. Now, what it does, um, we had one operator that was walking up and down the whole time, collecting what we call these six in human form. In human form, an actual person. An actual person, and we've realised that we could have made use of that person more efficiently. So they've probably over the weekend um, invented this. And what it does, it just moves up and down. How it works, there's a sensor inside that picks up the black shallow tape on the outside. So you have the option, you can just press the button. Fresh off the press, and I think that he needs a name. So how shall we call him? Heidi? Heidi? This one? There we go. There we go. Press the game. There we go. Now he's listening to me. 